Hi, I just did a lesson with Year 13 and I used Google Meet and I used Google Jamboard. Um, so I just want to show you a little bit about what I did um, if you'd like to have a go as well. So I got these instructions from a Google support uh, page and somebody really, really nice posted this answer. So none of this is original, but I used these instructions and what I've done is created a PDF document with some images from my own Jamboard and the things that I did today. So I can just talk you through it. So um, you create a Hangout Meet as you would normally do for a class on your Google Calendar and you call it the main room and you only give that one to the students. Then you create um, further Hangouts which run at the same time and you call them breakout room one, breakout room two, but you don't give those details to the students just yet. Now, just a reminder that if you want to turn that, those into video meetings, you just have to click on the add video button to create a Google Meet link. And then on a Jamboard, you prepare your meeting content. So what I've got here is a workshop on narration and I've got um, the yellow post-it notes at the top of the key questions that I wanna discuss in the workshop. Um, and then you can see down there that I've got one big sticky note with the main room Google Meet on. That's the one that we start the meeting with. Um, now, at the top of the Jamboard, there's a little sort of square that looks like a screen with one out of five on. And if you click the arrow, you can make multiple pages for your Jamboard. So I made one page here, the landing page, and then I made one page for each of the breakout groups. And um, on the main page, I did some sticky notes, each with the breakout groups labeled with the links for the Google Meets from the Google Calendar. OK, so um, you have to share the Jamboard with the people who are going to be in the class before the event so that they can set to edit it. So the way that I did this was through Google Classroom, setting up a new assignment. Um, I called it Workshop One Narration. And then basically, just as you would attach a document in from Google Drive, I clicked on the link to attach, clicked on Google Drive. Um, my Jamboard came up, course at Workshop 1. I added it in um, and then I had to just set it so that students could edit it and not just view the Jamboard. So once I've set up that assignment, students can edit it. I click on um, Publish and then they can access the Jamboard. Now, um, in the meeting, what I did was I did some face to face time, but then I shared my screen with the students um, so that they we were basically all looking at the Jamboard and we were making notes on the Jamboard together. There's some ideas on the PDF about, you know, some you might like to get the kids to do a little warm up, put in their name on a sticky note, maybe a word to summarize how they feel. This is an icebreaker. Um, and then we basically did 20 minutes of teaching all together and then the group broke into three breakout rooms just for 10 minutes. So I gave them each the um, code for their breakout group and what happens is they have to leave the main hangout. They can't be in two Google Meets at the same time, otherwise basically you'll hear everything in both rooms. So they have to leave the main room, go into the other room um, and then when the time's up, all come back together in the main room. I was intending to go into all three rooms. I ended up just staying in one for the 10 minutes. It goes pretty quickly. Um, so that's a point for next time. We all came back together and then we fed back to the class and then we basically looked at each page of the Jamboard that they'd created and they talked through the notes. And if you see on the Jamboard, there's different colored post-it notes. And basically I put my comments on the sort of pinky colored sticky notes. The group's comments are in green and blue and the original questions are in yellow. So we can use color coding on sticky notes to see what's my comments, what's their comments. And it's all saved for them to access afterwards as well. So I've asked them now to go away and maybe improve their work and they can obviously access in the Jamboard any notes that we made in the lesson. Um, it worked really well. It gave the students the ability to work in groups successfully and they had a really interactive lesson. So I'm definitely going to use that again. I hope you want to try it too. If you found this video helpful, um, hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Sophie Tuvey. Thanks very much for watching.